What is up, misfits? Drew and Sherb today talking to you about the deficit handstand push-up. Now, this is something you're gonna see on the programming somewhat regularly, a lot of times in skill work, and a lot of athletes really struggle with this movement, mainly because the deficit handstand push-up is a bit different than the normal handstand push-up. So, a lot of athletes will see in this position, if we have Drew actually kick up on the wall, he kicks up, he comes down to his loaded position, when he brings his knees down, he finds that he doesn't have great balance. So a lot of times what athletes will instinctually do at first is kick up again, come down to their head, and then scoot their hands further away from the wall to give them a little bit better balance when they're down in that loaded position. Now the problem with that is when the athlete moves their hands, they take the tension out of their shoulders, which makes effectively like pressing from the you know, bottom of a headstand rather than loading those shoulders up and getting that stretch reflex that we see in the shoulders. So the better fix here is if Drew were to go back over to the wall, I'd say, Drew, pull those plates about two inches away from the wall. That way he can put his hands in the same position he's always used to, but when he comes down loaded into his head and he brings his legs down, he feels balanced. So come on all down again, Drew. Now, we're looking at a four inch deficit here. We routinely ask for four, six, eight, and sometimes even parallel where you're looking 12, 13 inches. You'll notice that when an athlete does that, they bring their knees down further and further, trying to get more and more from their hips. But what they cannot do is move those hands because that stretch in the shoulders is a really important feature here because you get that stretch reflex on each subsequent rep. Another way to think of this is if you were about to do a 10 rep max deadlift and I asked you to set the bar down in between every single rep, after you pull your first one where you would normally get your stretch reflex into your second one, you no longer have it making those reps so much harder. So if now Drew has pulled those plates away, he can now work on putting his hands in the exact same position, but we're not gonna lose that rhythm as he works through his reps. So go ahead, Drew, give us five deficit handstand push-ups. Good, and relax. Now let's say you were unfamiliar, uncomfortable with that, you're still kind of experimenting with deficit handstand push-ups. A really good way to work on this, similar to your normal flat handstand push-ups, would to grab a piece of chalk or a piece of tape and just get used to where you're putting your hands, making the mark on the floor and getting used to repeatable movement because that's the biggest way to create change in skill work. Again, we don't wanna lose tension in our shoulders, we want that stretch reflex to help us on our subsequent rep so that you're not fighting against yourself on these handstand push-ups. Give it a shot and we'll see you all next time.